Paparazzi talking ball cards. What is happening? I uh, hope you guys like the new intro video that I got set up. Uh, been a while since a video, but um, I'm putting together a PSA quarterly submission at the last minute. Um, so I'm going to do a quick preview of that. And I also got some uh, some recent pickups that I'll highlight that are, some are mixed in. Um, but other than that, I also have some TTMs. So some new TTMs came in that I'll reveal. So let's get into it. <clears throat> Um, I have these ordered from oldest to newest. This is the PSA quarterly special 100 years of cards. Starting off with some 51 Bowmans, Andy Pathko, Eddie Mixus. Let me uh, actually put these away in a meaningful order so I don't have to reorganize them. Tommy Byrne. Um, some of these might actually get kicked out. Like, I don't know if it's worth sending in Tommy Byrne. Um, the deal's for $8.50. Um, we'll see. This one's definitely going in. 1952 Burke Ross Duke Snyder. Um, so this is a nice one. Some high hopes for this. Thinking six or a seven. Uh, 52 Bowman, Richie Ashburn. Got to submit Hall of Fame vintage. Um, this is a, a decent 52 tops. Frank Baumholtz, um, probably be limited to a PSA 3 because of a little bit of staining going on right there in that corner. Uh, just a couple more 52s. George Munger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice 52 there. Gerald Staley. Another 52. That one's got some rounded corners, so I don't know. This one's definitely going. Whitey Ford. Uh, this is a recent pickup, so a good little one to highlight here. Um, card has some staining and some wrinkling on the back. Staining up here, a wrinkle down here, a little bit more staining. So not too high hopes for that. Probably like a PSA 3 for the Ford. Joe Collins got this a while back. High hopes for that. Maybe like a 5 or a 6. Um, definitely one of the more rough cards in this, but can't go wrong with a Jackie. So uh, 54 tops Jackie Robinson, thinking like a PSA 1.5. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a Bud. Pod Beelin, <laughs> Pod Beelin. Um, only submitted this one because it's really, really nice. Really nice 54. Thinking it could be like a seven or an eight. Um, newer pickup here, Enos Slaughter. Working on that 55 Bowman Hall of Fame set. Here's another 55 Bowman Hall of Fame pickup, Whitey Ford. Uh, thinking like fours, fives on those. Got a 55 Ken Boyer. I think this is his rookie. Maybe it's not. Someone correct me on that. Um, this is a nice new rookie pickup here. Bobby Richardson, uh, 57 tops. Excited about this. Good chance at a seven. Damn, maybe an eight. Um, nice card there. Herb score, uh, not the nicest, but a 57 tops Herb score. Ed Matthews uh, has some corner wear, but probably PSA 3 worthy. Ted Klazuski, nice card here. Maybe a PSA 6 or 7 on this. Pretty iconic card, pretty cool uh, sleeveless jersey there. So pretty cool vintage there. Cletus Boyer, this is his rookie. 57. Another 57 Red Sox team. That's probably more like a PSA 5. This is a nicer one here, <clears throat> 57 Mays. Has some print defect on there, as you could see, but still a nice card. I'm um, hoping for like a six there. Here's another card I'm hoping for a six on, Willie Mays, 58 this time. Gotta love that blue. Pretty rare to have uh, very little print defect in that blue. Just a little tiny print spot there. Nice one. Here's a newer card, Banks. Picked this up recently. I'm um, looking for a six on that, so. Sweet 59 Banks. Another one, Keystone Combo. Nelly Fox and uh, Luis Aparicio. That's uh, not a huge value card, but nice. Um, here's a recent pickup. Uh, another eBay score here. Uh, looking for a six or so on the Ernie Banks All-Star. This, um, this one came back recently as miscut for one of my previous orders. You could look there that it's not the perfect, most perfectly square corner. So that's why they kicked it back as miscut. Sending it back in again, going to get a second look at that. I think it has a chance at an eight. Um, this is another recent PSA reject. It came back as altered. Man, I took a close look at this card. 
couldn't tell how it'd been altered. Nothing jumped out to me. So gonna give that one a second look too. Um, O'Toole and uh, Veda Pinson here, sophomore stalwarts. Uh, we're into the 60s, uh, 1960 tops now. Rocky Calavito, 60s top, the 1960 tops. Stand the Man. I have this card, but I think this will be a, a better grade. I think this will be around a six. Excited about this one. I think this uh, Gibson has a shot at a seven. Second year Bob Gibson there. Second year card for him. Sandy Koufax. Um, off center, top to bottom. I think it's got a still, still has a good chance at a five. 1960 Yankees team. Uh, looking for six on that. Neil, uh, all-star. Looking for like a six on that as well. Jim Gilliam. Nice one. Fork and Knuckler. Uh, Roy, uh, Roy Face and uh, Hoyt Wilhelm. Sharp card there, thinking seven. This came from Brian Roth. Thanks for this card, Brian. Check him out online. He's uh, well established in uh, card clubs on Facebook. He's buying and selling, so reach out to Brian Roth. <clears throat> Hoyt Wilhelm in a 60, kind of squinting there, looking angry, <laughs> thinking a five or a six. I'm excited about this one. Really well-centered, short print, um, Hall of Fame rookie, Marichal here. Corners are going to hold it back. It's going to be around like a five home run leaders. Cool to see Mantle and Maris on a card and Calavito. I mean, real guys that could smash the ball back then. Scout Ron? Uh, into 61s now. Whitey Ford, 61. Then another Hall of Fame rookie, Ron Santo. I think this has a good chance at a 7. Okay. About halfway through the preview. Go a little faster. Pitching leaders. Got a Kurt Flood. I think this is technically a high number at 438. In a 61 there. This is a newer one. Banks, hoping for a six on that. Sweet Banks. Uh, Bill Scowron, also known as Moose. <laughs> uh, still on the fence about this one. I think the best it'll do is just get an authentic. Yogi 62 post serial card. 62 tops at Matthews. Hoping for a five or a six there. This card's kind of a cool story. This was a 62 uh, <clears throat> PSA 8 with the print defect um, qualifier from PSA. I'm just snapping and resubbing. I don't see enough here to give it a PD. So hopefully get a straight eight on that. This previously was min size required. I'm gonna try and get a second shot on that card. Really sharp. If the, if it gets a grade, I think it'll be a seven. Uh, Chuck Schilling submitting it because it's sharp. I think that'll be around a seven or an eight. Another reason here, just submitting because it's really sharp, seven or an eight. Uh, this is a newer pickup, uh, Brooks Robinson here. I wanted to get it signed by him, but it's just too nice. I think it has a chance at a seven. Got a Yaz. Also think this has a shot at a seven. Uh, Willie Mays and Orlan Orlando Cepeda. Has a little wrinkle down here, so probably a three, maybe a four. Yaz, Schilling, a uh, little bit of staining on the back, as you could see there. So it'd be held back to like a four or a five. Duke. Uh, more recent pickup. I think it has a chance at a six. And the 64s. Here's, an, here's one I'm really excited about. I think this has this is a well-centered six, in my opinion. Hall of Fame rookie, Steve Carlton. I think it has a chance at a six. Obviously off a little bit top to bottom. 65 Clemente. I think, uh, I think this could get a straight seven. It's on the very edge of what is a tolerable for a seven via centering. Worst case, I think it'll get a six. Worst case... Um, I think it's a high number. Yeah, 550 McCovey here. Hoping for a seven. I didn't like what SGC graded that last McCovey, so resubbing it. Got one for the Maz collection. Aparicio, another pretty sharp one. Uh, got a couple 68 here. 68 All Stars. Photoshopped hat here for Joe. Cepeda. Yes, um, it's off a bit top to bottom, but I think a strong candidate for a six, maybe a seven. 
excited about this. This is my first copy of the bench. I think the staining on the back is going to hold it back to about a four. You can see down here. It's a four, maybe a five. Leo DeRocher. I think that has a good chance at a seven. Look at the registration on how clear this card is. On how clear the print registration is. I mean, just like, looks like almost picture quality what we have today. I think that'll get a six, seven, six or seven. Frank and Brooks, Aparicio, sharp card. I think in seven or eight there. Same here, sharp card with the Tony. Uh, La Russa thinking in seven or an eight. Uh, same story here with Frank, thinking seven with the center ink. You guys may recognize this card. Uh, they did a PSA did a review. I was a little upset. They didn't call me about it. Uh, they marked it down to a straight eight. I'm going to submit again. Uh, get a get hopefully a clean straight eight on this. Frank Robinson hoping for a seven there. Richie Allen, Gene Lipscomb, sixty two tops here. I think that's got a good chance at a six. Johnny Unitas. This is the first card in the set. Hard to find in a decent grade. I think it's got a chance at a four or five. Um, here's some tall boys. 65 tops. Bob Mishak. Um, these are hard to find centered in a good grade. This is this is probably going to be around a five or a six. Same here with this Larry Todd. Decently centered. Thinking a six. And then a... 69 basketball, Jim Washington. Um, I think it has a chance at a six. Okay, almost done here. Here, let's go over these TTMs. Super excited. Uh, Jim Palmer moved into my backyard. He lives in uh, Corona Del Mar, just about a 20 minute drive from me. Gave me a couple beautiful TTMs here. Um, really excited about that sportscardforum.com if you guys are interested in his address. Um, I'm going to try and go for his rookie. So I got a pretty rough copy of his rookie here. Going to send that to him, see if Jim will sign that for me. Eddie Robinson, old, oldest living MLB player. Uh, obviously, uh, past MLB player. <laughs> Signed here nicely on his 55. Got a little shake to his uh, signature, but still pretty nice. Yeah, I think he just about turned, I think he's 99. For 100 born in yeah he's 99 born in december 15th 1920 um these are these are a couple cards that aren't going into the sub uh centering was too rough on this Carew. Uh, i think i'm gonna get this signed by brooks if he's still signing at his address bunning i just don't think it's sharp enough to justify the grading fee uh recent pickup shine dines here just don't think it's just worth grading it. Gaylord uh, started signing again, so might send that to off to him. Joe Morgan, uh, it has a wrinkle on the back, so I didn't think it'd be worth it for a PSA 4. Got a Rick Wright card here. Um, this card, yeah, I'm on the fence about it. It's got some pretty bad staining up here. Not sure what to do. Um, but a nice, uh, a nice 58 tops Hank Aaron All-Star. This is a sharp 1970 Carew. I snapped it out. It's, it's graded by Sports Collector Digest. They had it as a 7.5. I think it has a chance at a 7 with PSA at some point. Um, can't submit that with the sub, though. Here's a nice Carl Erskine. Might get that signed by him. Not sure. And then just a rookie's card here. That's it. That's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the new uh, intro video. Um... Not going to hold my breath for this order. It'll probably be out to PSA for a better part of six months, but um, hopefully got some new stuff coming in soon here. I did order some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool card, a specific card. So I'll do a quick little video for that at some point soon. Uh, Paparazzi talking ball cards out of here.